Are they better than Pexto? Uh, no. <laughs> wow, that says something. Okay, Stanley uh, starts... Uh, uh, 1855, 1856, uh, as a rule maker, uh, not as a plane maker. Uh, by the time um, they get into making planes, or uh, they don't manufacture planes, they actually have employees that come up with the, with the designs and the patents, and they take it to someone else to manufacture because they don't have a foundry. And so where would they take them in New Britain? They would take them to Sargent. They would take them to Peck, Stowe, and Wilcox, which is in Southington, Connecticut, uh, six miles from New Britain. So they had a market, or they had a, a, a manufacturing source to make uh, planes and any kind of metal parts that they needed. So they were making, what were they making? They didn't make planes at the beginning, they make hardware. So they made locks, hinges, uh, sash poles, and fancy hinges for your house. And then all of a sudden, along comes, the hell's his name? Um, Bailey. Bailey. Ah. And Bailey's patents uh, gave them a new market. And they started mar marketing Bailey's planes. And Bailey got so much money for the Bailey adjuster. And then Bailey got pissed off at Stanley because he wasn't making enough money. So he went off on his own. He didn't last very long. Uh, in the meantime, along comes Sergeant. Sergeant made hardware and locks still do. Uh, today you can buy a Sergeant lock set or a uh, set of sergeant hinges. Uh, then they're still made in, in New Haven, which is 12 miles from where Stanley was. So Stanley rule and level was what they were marketed as, but they never made levels. They bought Ellipse, which is a company out of Akron, Ohio. They bought Eagle Square. They bought Herwood. They bought anybody they could get their hands on because they wanted to expand their line to compete with Sargent. Sargent was making all of the fancy uh, 45s, 55s. Stanley bought a factory in England, Sheffield. Uh, it was called Crompton Tool Works. That was uh, 1938. Uh, Crompton Tool Works produced a line of planes that were called Acorn. I've heard of those before. Yeah, same. yeah. they're junk. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, they're, I think I had a 102 of that. It had the little acorn on it. Yeah. Name. Yeah. yeah, and they're junk. Yeah. Uh, they're not good quality, and uh, the bottoms aren't flat. They never ground them. Are they better than Pexto? Uh, no. <laughs> wow, that says something. <laughs> okay, now, let's, let's, let me talk about Pexto. Pex? Peck, Stowe, and Wilcox uh, was the parent company. They started making uh, machinist tools, cheap, cheap machinist tools. They were competing with uh, Goodall and Pratt. Uh, who's Goodall and Pratt? Goodall and Pratt was the parent company of Miller's Falls. Hmm. And they made uh, high quality machinist tools. That was Goodall and Pratt. Uh, Pexto tried to compete with them. They couldn't. Stanley didn't make a sizzle. Neither did Sargent. They got them from either IF Mix or Swan. Swan was in uh, Seymour, Connecticut, which is right down the road from New Britain. So it's, it's amazing uh, how little we know of all this was, was so concentrated. And there were more companies that King did. Cutter was what we were talking about. Well, King Cutter uh, was a marketing company like Pennies. Uh, they Pennies were what the hell is that called? Towncraft. 
Sears and Roebuck had Craftsman. Montgomery Ward. Montgomery Ward yeah. had a Lakeside. Yep. So all these companies uh, had a uh, buyer who went out and said, uh, hey, Brian, what are you making these days? And I, I, I do this and this and this. And here, give me a bit on this. And here's a patent or here's a prototype. Uh, give me a whatever. And they manufactured it. Uh, and just stamped their logo on it. That's all they did. Wow. And uh, if you went to a uh, a factory that cans beans today, you would find that uh, the cans just keep rolling. And they put different labels in the labeling machines so that Libby gets these and uh, this company gets these and another company gets something else and they're all the same beans. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, how it works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what about like, did the Swedish chisels do the same thing, like a steel? Or no. did they have their own? Uh, let, let's talk about Berg chisel. Okay. Okay, Berg are the ones with the shark on. They're made in Sweden, in a factory outside of Stockholm. They've been made there for uh, probably 100 plus years. Okay. And the quality hasn't changed. Yeah. They're beautiful. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Plain wise, uh, you got uh, Lai Nielsen. Uh, you have Veritas, mm -hmm. and uh, there aren't many other companies that are worth having. Modern Stanleys. The yeah. modern Stanleys are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 